Welcome back! So, a few things before we get started. I've actually been playing the game off screen in between videos, and I've finished all the levels except for one. Uh, and as a result of getting some improved times, I've managed to unlock some more of those hats that I pointed out at the beginning of the LP. Now, you can see right here I'm wearing one of them right now. This is the Rainbow Beanie, and it looks pretty snazzy, but I'll probably change it out here in a little while. But in the meantime, we've got some levels to solve, starting with this one. And this actually introduces a couple of new concepts to the game. Uh, first it introduces cloning, and you'll see here that this monster is also new. This guy is called a Screamer, and he's basically like the fireballs from Chips, except that he doesn't actually press buttons, you'll notice. Which is kind of weird. Thankfully, like Chips Challenge, the Screamer that's on the clone machine is just a statue, so it can't hurt us. Let's see, if it continues on this ring, it will go up there and around, so let's put the next one there. And the last one's going to be a little bit tricky. we got to somehow get the Screamer down into this bomb there on the left side, but the problem is we can't get the block over there. Hmm. If we can get on the first ring, though, that should work, because then I can just get him over here and then put the block where I'm standing now, so let's try that. There we go. Okay, so now we can go around. There he can come back. And we can get the last fish. I really like the sound that plays when you collect fish, by the way. It just sounds all nice and, I don't know, shiny. Can a sound sh can a sound, sound shiny? I don't know. It, it just does. Anyway, let's see what this next level has in store for us. We appear to have some blocks. And another block. This one's kind of interesting, because we need to get the green one up over there, but if we push it where I'm standing right now, then we'd block the path for the red one. Or, we'd block the path for Whoop to extract the red one. So, I've got an idea for this. Let's do that, and let's move you over here for now. Okay, it may look tempting to go ahead and put the red one there, but if we do that, then we block the path for the green one. So let's go ahead and move the green one into position now that we've got the red one down there. There we go. Awesome. And why did I do that? I keep messing up the controls in this thing, I'm telling you. Someday I'll get used to these things, but for now I'm just still bumbling around. Now, you'll notice I've got a ranking of 1 here, but I don't really have a very good time. And that's because I've actually already gotten a better time on this level before. Um, but it still counts your ranking with the better time, even though you got a really bad time. you also notice that we got a medal here that's kind of different than the ones we've been seeing so far. It's much more spiky and whatnot. And this is the medal you get if you get first place uh, time-wise in any given level. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we got this time around. We got some bouncy things, and we gotta make sure that we are careful about letting them out. Yeah, okay, let me start that over again. Bouncy, bouncy! Uh, let's just wait. There we go. That's probably the best way to do it. There we go. Uh, let's do it this way. Just wait and run back. Perfect. Now this one, we can do the same tactic, but I'm just going to run for it. There we go. Good, good, good. Alright, we have survived the bouncy madness. Oh, this level. Yes, I was stuck on this for a very long time. Basically, you, there's only two ways to solve this that I know of, and I'm going to try to see if I can remember this, but... Essentially, you kind of have to use the golems in a really clever way. And I think you have to clear the path for this down here, because ultimately what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's two spaces between those. So you could use this one on the right to blow that one up, sacrifice the middle one, and then use the one on the left to go back. Yeah, it's kind of complicated, but it's not, it's not too bad once you really think about where each one can go. 
before it can die and whatnot. So once you get that down, it's not really that hard. And last but not least for Bibinka, we got a Sokoban and a conversation. Sweet. Cool. I really enjoyed playing this bundle. I did too. I guess that's it. Wait, was there more? Or did I press the wrong? Oh yeah, I had to press this thing. Duh. All right, Bundle C, Claudie. I wonder where they got these names. Claudie and Babinka. Acida. Let's see. I, let's see if I can even remember how to solve this. Um. So yeah. Let's do that. And well, maybe not. No, that's not gonna work, is it? Oh, now I've really, royally messed up. Okay, let me let me try that again. I've totally forgotten how to solve this Sokoban. Um. Okay, let me get you over here. That's probably the key is to do that, and then let's do. Hmm. I feel like this should be really easy, and I'm just making it hard. Is that the way to do it? I'm probably just shuffling things around here without even thinking, and it's just messing everything up more. Let's see, um... There's probably a very specific order. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, do it this way. Clockwise, perfect. There we go. That wasn't so bad. So we finished the second bundle, and now we can go on to the third bundle, which is Claudi. Now, you've probably noticed by now, but each of the bundle's color backgrounds are the same colors that are used as the colors in the water for each one. So we've had blue and we've had green, so for Claudi, we're going to have orange. So let's go ahead and start. So the first level of Claudi... There we go. Involves some little rooms. <laughs> I can't either. This is going to be cool. Alright, so. We got some blocks. We got some bombs. This kind of reminds me of a level I made. Um, I think it was every trick in the book from CCLP3. And we've got a couple of options here. We can go for that blue key over there. But the problem is that if we do that, we'd be forced to open the blue door, and not the one by the exit. So let's go ahead and do this. Get this over here, then get the key, and not worry about the area on the top left. There we go. Perfect. Let's see what we got for the next one. Looks like we got another Soko Band, but this looks a little bit easier. There we go, so all we need to do now is just push them back. I think this was easier than the last level in the previous pack, to be honest, because there, there's a limited number of things you can really do with this. But maybe that's just me. Alright, so level 3, I believe, involves some more of these blinky guys. Now, thankfully, Blinkies cannot activate the uh, collapsing bridges because they're floating around, so that's kind of nice. I think Blinkies are also another monster that cannot press buttons. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. And so was that. But we made it, which is what matters. And now we can move on to... What does this do? Oh, it's like Pearl Diving from CCLP3. Okay, I know how this is done. Let's just be careful not to get trapped. Except unlike Pearl Diving, this one actually has more spots in which to hide, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to start a new cycle. There we go. Let's see if we can make it to the exit. There we go. That was fun. I liked that. Okay. Ooh, we got some conveyor. Oh, there's a joyride. 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 We're going on a joyride. 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 We're going on a joyride. That wasn't quite so joyful. Whew. Made it, though. 
And I have no idea what those sound effects were, by the way. Those were definitely... That, those were definitely sound effects of some sort. And here we kind of have a spooks-like thing, except the path is way more rigid. There we go. And what's this? This is another Sokoban. Yay. Alright. So... Hmm. I think I just messed up the whole level. Yeah, okay, let's start that over. Connect 5 is the name of this one. Okay, so I have to push this. I have to push that. Yeah, okay, that works. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much the way you do it. It's just like that. Yeah, this one is way easier than that last level in the previous pack. Maybe I was just doing something really silly there. But overall, it wasn't so bad. And here we get our first real monster manipulation level. We have to direct this uh, Limpa guy here down to the red button. And thankfully, we can do this pretty easily just by creating a nice little loop here for him. Or we could actually send him into a loop at the button, but I'd rather do it the easy way, though. I think the way I used for the optimal time did involve looping around the button, like, continuously right there in a 2x2 two two space. Oh, this level. Oh, this. This this is kind of a pain, I gotta admit. So, basically, you have to lead, lead quote-unquote, these uh, uh, Nibbles guys by running away from them, which can kind of be a little hard to wrap your head around at first. But, I mean, it's not too hard when you think about it. It's just kind of a little weird. And then you get situations like this, which are not very fun. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go up here, because now they can't really go any... Oops. They can go somewhere. Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 please don't do that. Yeah, you end up getting them, like, running in the opposite direction that you have them... You, you want them to go in, which is really kind of annoying. There we go, that's better. Okay, guys, work with me here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this way. This way. This way. Atta boys. Nope. Ah, ah, ah. Urgh, no. No. Okay, now we just got one. That, that'll that help. Because the other one was blocking him, which really was not cool. Okay, so you go down there. Go down there. Okay, now go up. Now go to the left. Now there. Okay, good. I think that should do. I was kind of approaching that part the wrong way, I think. So if I can just go there. Perfect. Awesome. There we go. Now I can get inside. I had like a whole route carved out for Whoop for the optimal time, but when you play casually, you just don't really think of those things. You know, you just want to play the game without any of that stuff in mind, without a pre-planned route in mind. In the meantime though, let's see what this next level is all about. We got some buttons here, but no matter what, we can't get into the exit because the parity isn't right. If only there was something else we could step on besides red buttons. If only- oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we've got another Sokoban with a message. Conversation thing. Come on, whoop, stop calling us a monkey. And so basically this tells you about the create function and the weekly puzzle, which is pretty cool. I've actually submitted some levels so far, although they're mainly just ports of my existing Chips Challenge levels. So nothing terribly exciting that most of you guys probably haven't seen yet. Um, let's see here. Um, that one on the bottom is pretty much unnecessary. How am I going to do this? Did I already mess this up? I probably did, didn't I? Yeah, I, no I didn't. Never mind, I can get that one out. Perfect. That was pretty cool. Oh, this one. Yes, this is another golem leading level. And 
What I've found with these, these guys that works pretty well is to find places where you can separate them that are like one space apart if you want to work that way. Like here, you'll notice that there's a wall and then there's a fish. So if we do this, then we pretty much got this whole thing made and we can lead them one at a time. Except I totally messed that up. Whoops. Okay. Let's not do that. And let's start over. Um... Hmm... I know I did something involving that when I played this before. Was it this? Yeah, it was that. Okay, perfect. Or not. Oh wait, I had to get them all lined up and then send them back. Okay, let me start all over again. Okay, I forgot about that guys, my bad. So, what you have to do is you have to do something like this. There we go. Now they're all lined up and now we can go up. That's right, but you don't lead them one at a time. What am I thinking? If there's water over there, you're pretty much in danger of killing any single one when you lead them over there by itself and then get another one over. This way it makes much more sense. I had half of it down, just not the other half. Okay, let's see what awaits us here. Oh, this one. This is kind of a cool concept. It's it's a cool dodging level in which the... Yeah, pretty. It, it really is pretty, by the way. The, the patterns of the monsters are just really cool. And also very hard to dodge. I know I'm just totally forgetting something here. Um, yeah. Um, I can't really remember how to do this. Tell you what, let me rotate the board this way. Ah! Why am I having so much trouble with this? This shouldn't be that bad. Ah! I keep panicking. See, I have a panic complex whenever monsters come around like this. And then they start bouncing around out there, so I have to get out. So, I'm gonna try to move up gradually with each monster. There we go. That's, that makes much more sense. See, see the pattern? It's just so cool. There we go. Okay, so now I can get to the exits if I don't die. Which is kind of a big if. You know me. There we go. Whew! Alright, we made it. Okay, and ooh, we got another slime level, guys. Another slime level. That's right, and this time we can clone some blocks. And that probably wasn't exactly the best place to push one, but, uh, whatever. We'll, we'll make it work out. And that also probably wasn't the best place to push one either. And I totally forgot I could just push that one up. I'm I'm still getting used to some of these new game mechanics, guys. I, I'm not going to be ashamed to admit that. I, I'm still getting used to slime and how you push blocks across slime and all that. It's pretty cool, though, I gotta admit. Um, let's see, for this one I just need to push down. And this one I just need to push up. Yeah, I was making this way more complicated than need be. There we go. And let's see, I'll do one more level for the day. I will do this one. And this one has some invisible walls. I'm just going to go in and cover all those. Now, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but the mud blocks can be pushed onto any color um, panel here. Like that. And ultimately, we need to use this to get into the exit, so I'm just going to go ahead and push it there for now. Uh, let's see, for this guy, I'll go ahead and push you there. And now we need to get you there, so I'm just going to go ahead and push you back this way. There we go. Not bad at all. Okay, well, we've done quite a few levels in this video, so I'll tell you what, we'll continue with this uh, bouncer-infested ice level in the next video.